Hello, fellow library lover, and welcome to another webinar in which we'll discuss an online database in detail. Today we'll be discussing Gale Academic One File Select. Hi, my name is Stuart Schaefer, and I'm the head of reference at the Farmingdale Public Library. My contact information is, if you need me, my email address is fdaleref at nasolibrary.org. And if you need to call me when the library is open, my phone number is 516-249-9090, extension 203. And we will be needing to go to the library's webpage to get to a uh, Gale Academic One File Select today. And uh, you'll be going to the uh, URL farmingdalelibrary.org. So on your screen right now, you'll see my contact information and uh, a brief outline, which we're going to uh, talk about today during the presentation. So um, what is actually a uh, Gale Academic One File Select? It's a an high school and college student database, and its coverage is basically everything from art and literature to economics and the sciences, um, history, philosophy, literature. Um, it's a really, really useful database for those in probably in high school and college. And um, as you'll see with many of the other Gale databases, it has a simple interface and it's easy to use. It's crisp. There's really no extraneous material that will get you confused. Um, the letters are easy to read. The font is, uh, is, is big enough. You can change that if you need to. But um, it's, it's a really good database to use to do term papers and essays and to get information for research. So without further ado, I'm going to um, share my screen. I'm going to change it. And just give me like a second or so. Um, I will be going to the library's webpage and you should see it momentarily. There it is. And again, the URL is farmingdalelibrary.org. And to get to the Gale Academic One File Select, you're going to go under the research link at the top on the green bar under research. And then we're going to go by subject and another window is going to open up. And we're going to scroll down and we're going down to student resources. I'm going to click on that. <clears throat> and you'll, we're going to scroll down, but we're going to uh, pass by some of the other student resources that what we have, including Britannica Academic School Escolar. And um, down in the middle, we have Gale Academic One File Select, and the blurb says, this database meets research needs across all academic disciplines. A very nice broad uh, summary. And I'm going to click on the title of it. And I'm going to need to put my barcode in. I'm going to sign in. And now we have access to Gale Academic One File Select. Again, with all the uh, Gale databases, we have a search bar at the top. And then we have some other research tools at the bottom. We're going to get to them momentarily. Promise. So um, we're going to type in a search for something simple. Haha. <laughs> Geopolitics. As I type in the word geopolitics, you'll see that autofill kicks in, and there are all sorts of terms associated with geopolitics, including implications, tensions, and risks, and events, and concerns, and situation, and so on. I'm just going to type in geopolitics, and I'm going to click on the first option. And yes, there is a huge amount of information happening here, but we will cover it. I promise. So the first thing you want to note is that there are 4,380 academic journals. Just to the right of the term sort by, which I highlighted, you have the option to sort by relevance, or you can sort, sort by the newest article first or the oldest article first. We're going to click on the newest article, and you'll see that there was an article from May 21st of this uh, month. And um, the next one is from May 11th, so they're very current, as in like the last couple of weeks old. 
Uh, but if you were to search by the oldest article, you'll see that it goes back to 1987, which may not be that useful in terms of what's happening now. But if someone is doing a, a long-term overview of a particular topic, it might be useful. But um, also, not many libraries are going to have articles or um, the actual hard copy of a magazine from 1987 or even 1997. So um, that actually could be a useful feature. But I'm going to go back and click to the newest sort, newest um, articles. And the first one is they were going to the beach acting like tourists, drinking and chasing girl, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to click on the title. And you can see at the very top, I'm going to highlight it. This is the full title of the article. You have the authors, Carla King, Sabin, Sabin, Sabine Lee, and Susan Bartels. And this is from a journal called Stability International Journal of Security and Development. And on the right side over here, it tells you that it's an article. The length of it is 9,556 words. And it even gives you a lexile measure. Lexiles are a way of evaluating how complicated a particular article in a magazine is or a journal. The higher the number, the more sophisticated it is. Um, pretty much anything over like 1400 is college level or above. Um, you can filter your search by lexile letter level. I'll show you how to do that later in the, um, in the webinar. But um, try not to look for articles that you know are going to be super complicated to understand. If you're in, let's say, seventh grade or eighth grade or ninth grade, um, it just might make reading the article and understanding it more difficult. And it might also um, impact your grade that you get. Um, so, as in many cases, there's an abstract of an article, which is just a four or five sentence summary of what the article has to say. Um, if you're doing, if you're just looking for articles quickly and you're looking for 10 of them, let's say, and you need to send them to your teacher or professor, and you don't want to waste a lot of time reading articles, looking at an abstract to see if it's relevant to the search that you're doing, to the topic that you're doing, is a great way of cutting time and um, being efficient. Just look at the abstract, and if you think it's relevant to your topic, it might be a good article. Anyway, that is what this is that I just highlighted. You'll see it right there. A little under that are some keywords that um, Gail has decided to apply to this article. One is peacekeeping and then peace support operations, sexual abuse and exploitation. Another one is women and girls and United Nations. So there's an introduction to the article right here. I'm gonna scroll down. Gender and PSO. I don't know what PSO stands for. Purposes of the study. So this is a study article. Methods, this is how they describe how they did the study. Location and participant selection, the survey, the study implementation, the definitions, ethics of the survey, and analysis. This is analysis right here. The results. And then there's theme one, theme two, and theme three, and so on. You get the idea. One way to judge how long an article is, if you notice on the right side, I'm kind of going up and down in the article with my vertical scroll bar, like right here. The smaller this box is, the longer the article. You can see that this is a pretty lengthy article, page after page after page. So that's one way to indicate or to realize how article, long the article is for you. At the bottom is a list of references. I just highlighted it. This is the first one highlighted. And I'm going to scroll down to the last one. It looks like they have something on the order of 75 citations for this article. If you were do, writing up, using this article, excuse me, for a term paper, you can quickly create a source citation for the MLA edition, eighth edition right here, or the APA down here, or the Chicago Man 17th edition, the manual. Just click on either of these and, uh, or any of these, 
and you'll have the citation for that particular um, source manual method. Um, so this is particularly, this is the, the one you're looking at right here. This is for the Chicago 17th edition. This would be for the Chicago, or I'm sorry, APA 6th edition. In any event, I'm scrolling back to the top of the page and you could translate the article into a number of different languages. I clicked on translate and they have all the major languages of the world, Arabic, um, Czech, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Hebrew, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Swedish, Thai, Turkish, Urdu, Vietnamese. Um, that should keep you busy. Just to the right of this option is the font size. You can make the font bigger, but just realize the bigger the font, the less you have on the page and the more you'll have to scroll down. If you make the font smaller, you'll get more on the page and you won't have to scroll down as much. You can even listen to the article. You can have someone actually read it to you. I'm going to do that. And this is the bar. You can see the little buttons over here. They're changing color. That's the text being read to you. So if you needed to actually download this to Google Drive, you click on this link at the top right here, the Google Drive link. This is for the Microsoft Cloud, I believe. This is if you wanted to email the article to yourself. You could have the full text of the article sent. You could have it sent in PDF format. Just realize that you're gonna need Adobe Acrobat Reader to read it. And you can just send the citation of the article, which is generally the author, the title, uh, the publication, where it came from, the magazine, uh, the pages that it came from, the volume and issue, and the page number and the date of the article. Just put in your to or email and then from and maybe a message and then click send. You um, also, on the right side, you can explore more articles similar to this one. The first two, three of them are more support needed for victims of sexual abuse. The second one is two of three safer student advocate positions are vacant. And then collateral damage from lockdowns. Let's click on that one. Again, it, this clicking on the title gives you the date of the article, where it's from, in this case, State News Service, the publisher. The document type is an article. The length is 446 words. The Lexile measure is 1180 which is substantially less than the prior article, which I think was 1,460. And again, I'm gonna make the font a little bigger, but you can see that this is the same format. You don't have an abstract, but this is the actual article itself. Not particularly long, but um, you have a source citation at the bottom. You would click select and then copy and paste it if you wanted to include it in your bibliography or your footnotes. And if you wanted to see all the related articles to the one, to this one, just click this link right here. It says view all related articles on the right side. And here they are at the bottom of the page. Some of them, or all of them, it looks like a very current, May 25th, 2020, another May 25th, May 25th, May 26th, May 27, May 27, and May 28th. That's pretty darn current. That is awesome. Very, very timely. So at the top of the page, you have the site option up here. That's the same site that I mentioned before with um, MLA and APA format. You can send it to Google Drive or OneDrive, or you can email it, same as before. You could download it to your computer, or you could print it. So it'll go to your local printer, in this case, my XP7100. I can have it um, print the whole article or various pages, and then I just click print, and it'll come. It'll print out to my local article. I'm sorry, my local printer. Excuse me. Finally, um, if you wanted to find related subjects, I scroll down from the top of the article, and under explore, I just scroll down a bit 
and I found related subjects right here. Let's look for um, mental health. I'm going to click on that link. And this is where I'm going to branch off a little. Um, it looks like it found 8,805 academic journals. And the applied filter is full text, which means these 8,805 academic journals have the full text, which full text is the actual article itself written. So you're not going to get a summary. You're not going to get an abstract. It's actually going to be the article itself as it appeared in the particular magazine. Again, you have the option to sort by relevance, newest or oldest. And um, I'm going to filter my results on the right side of the screen just to show you we're going to get from 8,805 articles. We're going to look for uh, the publication date. Let's look just for um, articles from um, 2019, January 1st, all the way to today, which is um, May 29th, 2020. And let's make that our first filter. So we went from 8,805 to 793. Good. Now, let's look under um, a Lexile measure, how complicated we want the article to be. Let's say we want um, anything over 1,100. I'm going to click the little boxes over here with a check mark. I'm going to click on Apply. We went from 793 to 775. Not much, but it's better than nothing. And let's look under Document Type. Let's look for brief articles since maybe our term paper is due next week. So I clicked on the box for brief article. It looks like there are 221. That's what this number is in parentheses. And lo and behold, we found 221 academic journals. And on the top of the page, and I'm going to show you the applied filters that we used. We chose full text articles between January 1st, 2019 to today, which is May 29th, 2020. We chose a Lexile measure of over 1100, and we chose document type, which is just a brief article. And if you notice, many of the articles are, well, don't have that many words compared to the others, which in previous searches had like thousands of words. The first one has 366, the second one is 360, the third one, adolescence use of this one right here, 367. So it definitely filtered down our sort, our sorts to make it easier for you to get the magazine and journal that you need for your paper. Um, the Lexile measure of this first one is 1680, which is going to mean it's um, a peer-reviewed, very sophisticated article. Just recognize that peer-reviewed articles are written for professors by professors. Many times they actually have a study or a survey included in the article. So there's going to be a lot of statistics and a lot of um, sophisticated math and, and statistical methodology and material like that. Peer-reviewed means that professors get it checked by other professors before it can make it to a particular journal. In this case, the frontiers in psychiatry. And I'm just going to show you the article. It's the same format as before with Explore over here and related subjects. Whoops, sorry about that. Related subjects. We have a background over here. And again, it's um, a, a quick article, so that's why it's not super long. I'm going to go back to the prior page. And I'm going to do something a little different now. I just want to show you that. I'm just going to get rid of these filters because I wanted to show you the different other um, formats that you can look at journals for. So we found 2,118 magazines, 16, 16 books, 108,000 news articles, 11 images, and two videos. So I'm just going to show you the news articles right up here. You should see that, I think. Yes, you do. I clicked on that, and we found 108,000 articles. That's way too much, obviously. 
we sorted by relevance, but I want to get the newest articles. And again, we have one from May 31st of this year. May 31st. Again, May 31st. And notice that these are very sophisticated uh, journal articles um, from journals that are not just your time in US News and World Reports. So let us look for something a little more fun like US government or just government. So you can see the article are come from things like PLOS1 up here. Number two is PLOS1, PLOS1 also. Then Constitutional Forum, the Journal of Pakistan Medical Association, AI Magazine, TD Magazine, Duke Law Journal, sophisticated magazines and journals that um, generally the public library is going to get the hard copy of. And what else did I wanted to show you? Hmm. Um, you can see your search history up at the top of the page. And we started out doing a search for geopolitics. It's at the bottom of the page over here. There it is. So the newest one is the top of the page and then the oldest and then older, older, older. The oldest one is at the bottom of the page, the one with the 12,245. Then we did a search for mental health with limits. Then we did mental health with limits and full text and a date sort. And then we did this search over here. And then uh, we all went all the way up to the government search, which we just did, that had all of these results, which is completely unwieldy. But um, you down, but you do know now how to filter by um, by lexile level level or by date things like that. Um, one other thing is when you do a search, um, you can do an advanced search. You can do a particular word search in this field, either keyword or an entire document or a subject, or by um, a document title or an abstract and also the publication title. So if I'm looking for government in a particular publication title, let's see. So I did a search for the phrase word government in academic journals and it came up with government computer news or government computer news and a whole bunch of them. So you can see that uh, you can narrow down your search by journal title, which is very helpful. Um, with the search also, you can do an image search. This might be interesting or not. It looks like some of them are cartoons, but I'm sure they're not just your typical funny, funny cartoons they are relevant to the search at hand. So what else can I show you? Um, we can do a search by subject. So we did a search for government and we're gonna filter it by subject, including let's look under software or data security. And I'm gonna sort it by the newest one first. And it looks like government computer news is very popular, but notice that it's from 2007, not super, super new. Um, what else can we do? I think I covered it. So um, I'm gonna take you back to the original Gale Academic One File Select Search screen. This is where you could put in the term again. And right under it is where you can do this advanced search that I was just talking about. You can get a title list of journals that are included in this uh, database. And you can also get help from Gale by clicking on this link at the bottom. It gives you um, some help, help 
topics for this particular search for the home page. And on the right side, you can click on view all topics. And I did that and there it is. These are all linkable. This is the help contents over here. So if you have a question about the home page, you click on that link. If you have a question about listening to documents, you click on this link right there and it takes you right to it. You can read it, copy and paste it into Word and then actually use it with the article you're looking at and go from there. It's a really excellent database for students that are in probably high school and college and probably for the advanced uh, junior high school student. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation for Gale Academic One File Select. Um, if you have any questions, please send me an email at fdaleref at nasalibrary.org. And um, I post these webinars on the library's YouTube page. Just do a YouTube search for farmingdalelibrary.org and you'll find the page. Just click on this link for this particular database. Um, I've done others that you can scroll through and take a look at. Usually they're about 15, 20 minutes long. Um, feel free to run through it as fast as you can or go through it as often as you'd like. That, that would be wonderful. Um, also, please take a look at the Farmingdale Library's uh, Instagram page. We're starting to post content to that um, social media site. Um, just do a search for farmingdalelibrary.org or for just Farmingdale Library. You'll see um, probably some of these links to these webinars that I've done and others that uh, other librarians are generating content for. That should be on our Instagram page. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great evening. And um, I'm going to be doing some more of these next week. Take a look um, on the library, uh, the library um, YouTube page and you'll see more of them. Thanks very much. Have a great evening and um, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.